fall here in the northwest. I'm telling you, Salt Lake is so gorgeous. It is chilly, but it is gorgeous. And if you're thinking, gosh, I can't wait to get on the road, guess what you can do? You can go to ultimatervshow.com and register to win the brand new Arcadia fifth wheel. We are giving away, I have two words, sectional, second word, farmhouse. It is stunning. You need to make that yours. I love it. You know what we're giving away also? All right, we're not giving away, but we're going into our next section of travel yes. trailers and boondocking right now. And one of my favorites, before we get there, I want to shout out North and South Dakota who are tuning in and my mother-in-law who's watching in Illinois. And we've got to see the Jayco Jayfeather Micro. Chris and Tiff are going to show one of my favorite units that we have that we've seen so far during this whole expo. It is going to be darling. <laughs> I was about to say Chris. It's Ian and Tiff, Chris and Tiff. Chris and Tiff, take it away. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> I would gladly, gladly, gladly be mistaken for Ian any day of the week. You're talking about a tanned Adonis. Come on, Tiff. Tell me that wouldn't be a great thing to have. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of things that I would like to have if we're going to be real honest here, uh -huh. you know? Right, right, right. But what I'm really excited about. Yes. We going into boondocking. Boondocking, you which know. Which we haven't talked about yet. We have not. During and the RV Expo. So many people, you know, they, they talk about van life. Mm -hmm. And they talk about really getting out, hitting BLM land. We're out here in the Northwest where there are more hikeable trails, more fishable shorelines. And like South Dakota, for example, has more shoreline than the entire state of Florida. That's crazy. Colorado, 9,600 miles of fishing stream. You have all these tips and, and tricks, and I love it. Well, There's it's where we're in a great area for doing stuff like boondocking. Yeah. So why not show you some great travel trailers for it? And and since we've been I'm talking excited. about Jayco, I got to start with the Jayco Jake Feather, the micro. Now, so, is it called Feather because it's light or yes. like what is that? Okay, yes, that's absolutely. So this is the J Feather uh, Micro 166 FBS. Wow. This thing is barely 4,000 pounds dry. It's 39.75. So can you pull this with just a regular SUV or do you still have to have so, a truck? So, so here's, here's what I tell people. This thing's 19 feet, eight inches. It, depending on what your vehicle is, because most newer vehicles will tow a little bit more than some of the older's, but some of the older's had stronger engines and transmissions, which they would tow more. Got it. It's free and easy to bring your unit to Camping World and yeah. let us check it for you. Yeah. That's the best way. Plus, when you come in, you can check out and walk in and touch mm -hmm. one of these beauties. And then if you're like, I want to go home because the game's coming on, or I want to go home so I can start packing, <laughs> we'll deliver this to you. We'll actually bring it to your home. Uh, I love it. And if you guys have any questions or any concerns, or if you want to know if your truck or your car can pull this certain travel trailer or anything, 866-853-3510. We have specialists waiting for you, and they're gonna answer your questions, but I got Chris here. Yeah. He answers all my questions because yeah. I got lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, first off, tell me what you think about this new updated decor for 22 that Jayco put in this Jay Feather Micro. What okay. do you like about I it? I love, I actually normally, I'm like the contrast always normally, it, for me, is a little too much, sure. but for this one, I actually don't mind it at all. I love that they kept the floors light, that the mm -hmm. counter's light, the cabinet's light, and I do, appreciate actually the contrast between the lowers and the uppers because you're kind of seeing that yeah. in just like residential homes now too yeah. The, the, yeah, yeah. the double or tricolor um uh, options here but it's really beautiful it's you, yep, this flooring, the, the flooring is easy to clean it's one easy, piece yep and it's like, laminated so spills and all of that which yep. is always like the concern yeah. of just you know going out coming in having we have a dog and now we have um, I you got the baby. Newborn, you got the baby. She's not a newborn anymore. Look, until they graduated so. college, they're a newborn to me. <laughs> oh, I That's how I look at my kids. That's right. My, look, I got two, my, my two boys sitting at home now. You're still babies. I'm gonna call you baby till you graduate high school. Oh. Gra college. You're gonna still call college. them baby when they're like. 40s, 60s. My roof, my rules. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Until you start paying that mortgage payment or that car payment, you're going to sh mm -hmm. you sit, sit down. Mm -hmm. but the great, I know how it works. Just because you're going off the grid. So yeah. years ago, boondocking used to be those little small RVs yeah. that didn't have a lot to them. Yeah. Now, now, you guys did boondocking with your Class A. We which did. Which is a little bit different. So here, I mean, it is different if you're doing like full time every day and like have that huge commitment. We did more like weekend warrior style. So like three to four days stint. Right. We had a generator, which mm -hmm. was nice. We're very outdoorsy people. So a lot of the times during the day, we're outside hiking and all that stuff. So we don't really need that much light or amenity usage inside. Sure. Yeah. Um, generator was on if we had to run like the AC or if we had to run like the heat, but we 
we didn't really have to do that. I mean, yeah. it's so beautiful, and that's what's the greatest thing about just traveling in general. You get to choose the location and the temperatures that you want to be. Yes, <laughs> to yes. be. And so that's that's the we, biggie. The tips for boondocking <laughs> are the biggie. But, yeah. but t tell me about why boondocking. What is boondocking? Okay, well, boondocking is pretty much just living off grid. So you you don't have shore power. You're not plugged in. Um, I love boondocking personally because you get to choose your location. You mm -hmm. get to, we did like a lot of BLM land. Yes, um, which they have a lot in the Northwest. They do, they do. And what's nice about it is that you don't have neighbors and you really yeah. get to be like with like one, with yeah. nature and yes. everything. And it's just so much more zenful. Um, and don't get me wrong, I love like being in the RV parks with the mm -hmm. amenities and like the pools and all that stuff. But when you're really trying to just disconnect and like, really enjoy the outdoors and really just enjoy the presence of one another that's I, way there's to do it. nothing better than boondocking that's the way to do it yeah. and when you're looking for a travel trailer to do it these j feather micros are great because you want something a that's going to be lightweight mm -hmm. because you aren't going to be on pavement you aren't going to be yep. on regular terrain you yep. also want something that's going to have good ground clearance mm -hmm. and four-wheel tires yeah those are some big things. The other thing you want to look for are RVs that are going to have big tanks. For example, this six, this 166 FPS has a 55 gallon fresh tank. That is unheard of. To that's me. unheard of. I feel like that's trip. like half of the travel. It really was well, 19 feet eight tank. inches. Yeah, and then you got dual 30 gallon fresh and gray tank, yeah. 30.5. But I mean, still, that is good because when you're out there, you want fresh water. You yep. don't want to run out of that because that's that's life right there. Yeah. You also want good strong structures so this one having the aluminum oh, frame superstructure wow. yep you got Ooh, the magnum truss roofing that's nice you got good it's high really high clearance duty. and you know a lot of times now acs we talk about the 13.5 and the 15 case mm -hmm. what they did with this one they put in the furion 14.5 14 that's AC in this crazy one. so that's a pack that packs a lot of punch in a little guy it does pack a lot of punch and kev you'll see right there we got the solar charge converter so this one is prepped for solar ready to go which is nice and that was the one thing that you know when we had our class a mm -hmm. the generator i mean it was nice it worked but it also is ours was old it was a 99 remember yeah. so it was very fumey and gassy we <laughs> so we definitely before we had sold we were we were planning to do solar which allows you to boondock a lot longer because mm -hmm. you have um well I guess sun power. It, yeah, sun power. I yeah. guess it really depends if you're trying to be bold and, 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 and you know, ballsy to go. Sometimes you can get them, you know, like some of them will come with a 100 watt, 200 mm -hmm. watt mm -hmm. solar panel on top, or you can just get the additional. I always say get the additional briefcase, the yes. solar panels, yes. because that'll trickle charge the battery as will the panels. Yeah. And that's really what you're doing. You're storing Dude. up to so use that battery. Um, but let's take a look at this beauty. Mm -hmm. The light on the gray, we got the paneled. This is the. This is gorgeous. Yeah, this is a gas electric fridge right Demina. here. <laughs> with the automatic. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, this is roomy. This is the same size as our um, Class C right. that we have right now, mm -hmm. and Eight cubic it foot. holds. So, we're Costco people, okay? <laughs> we like to be. buy in bulk. <laughs> My husband eats for like five or seven people, so he's a healthy, active young he man. He is, he is. Yeah. But we can fit so much of our Costco haul actually right. in the fridge, and this is a cute little pantry. I, I like how, yeah, I like, even though these, these oh, travel trailers, now these are great for boondocking, but these are also just great for regular, you yep. know, regular camping situations, because mm -hmm. you got those upgraded interior amenities. I love the distressing that we have here on the oh, whitewash cabinetry. I just noticed cabinetry. that, I didn't even yeah. think about that. Rustic, oh, okay, kind of that cool. barn style, I really like it. Yep, Beautiful. you got the brush nickel pulls, and then check out the bathroom. Okay. So there solid door, graphite black on Whoa. that one. Look at it. Look at have, it. Yes. Have come not right only, on in. Not only are you maximizing the space in there, yep, you have the shower curtain, neo angled shower, plastic Where bowl. Where am I? Tip, check out the sink. Look at the sink. Wow. Ooh, I love this like matte black right here, yep. too. It's really pretty. Plus, and you got storage. Yep, storage. little spot for a trash can. I toilet really paper. did not think that there was going to be storage under there, so this is really great and beautiful. But you even got a brush nickel handle which a lot of times yes. in travel trailers this size because this one's under 20 feet mm -hmm. you're not going to get something you know that's kind of more residential style plus you got the shelf right here for some of your linens the fan you got i the see fan it you have a little bit of air out. skylight as well this is super roomy this though was what <laughs> i liked I really so microfiber on this couch let's take a cd and you got two of these which is great we're we work remote and especially I feel like in these days and age, we're all working a lot more re right. remote. So 
Love that you can have your computer station just and right or, you know, dining yeah. station as well. So this Plus you got great. your power right there, dual USB. This is really nice. And what, you said this is micro Yeah, it's micro suede. Yeah, micro I call suede? it micro suede. There's like a fancy term for it. But, you know, being old school country, that's micro suede. No, this is really yeah. nice. And this folds down into a jackknife, which yep. I appreciate as well. But and you, you got the fold down for the cup holders. This is great. Plus this the spare really table great. in the back. Yeah. Frosted glass inlays here in the storage with strut supporting. I mean, Jayco is one of the top selling brands across the country for mm -hmm. a reason because of the quality that they do, the features that they put in. Over here, we got this press surface countertop, Gorgeous. small sink with a three burner cooktop. Now, a lot of times you see the two burner cooktops and you know we were talking about Colorado just a minute ago. Colorado, 9,600 miles. Oh, this of is not. Streams. I am 9,600. Yeah, and Don't did you tell know? You. How, how, what's your biggest fish that you've caught? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was 10 inches. <laughs> <laughs> 10 inches held up close. Yeah, yeah. So that's how yeah. it is. I, I know, lie about the I know, fish I catch all done. I don't know the big. tricks that you guys do in here. And then check this out. So, right here behind the TV, you got oh, a storage, storage compartment, a little hideaway. Yeah, they really did a good job of maximizing the space, but they made it decorative I'm and impressive. enjoyable. And look, we got the. Yes, this is what I saw before. I, I can get it open. Need a little assistance? You got it. There you go. It. Actually, you know what you can also use that for? Put a little seat on it. Yep. Yeah. Seating. Great minds think alike. Got Boom, the pop up baby. power station. Let me you take a look. You got the frosted little. glass inlay there. Yeah, look how much space you got up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is great. I love this. Isn't that comfortable? Nice. Thick foam mattress. Oh, okay. Wait, now let's look. take a little peek outside. Yeah, because I tell you, that's the great thing about, you know, with Camping World having so many locations, over 185, over 45,000 units on the lot. You want to come see one of these? You absolutely 000. can. But let's take a look at the outside. Large awning with the LED light strip, those Gorgeous. upgraded marine grade speakers. Oh, I see a little outdoor the fridge. The IRV chill fridge. And look, you got the Wingmate which is a, a grill you put there, connects right into the LP line. And right here is what I was talking about with those tires. Yeah. Take a look Heavy at, duty. You gotta have heavy duty. And this, this is- The cover. The cover. Yeah, 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 you gotta have the cover. This even has a light on it. Got that aluminum wheel on there, the flipped axle, so you get a little bit more ground clearance. It's just such a great camper as a travel trailer. If you wanna take boondocking, I solid steps. I'm Kick so bar. impressed. Talk Can about rugged kick? and sturdy. Yeah. Kick. Plus pass through storage. <laughs> J Smart lights set up for the side vision, twin 30 pound LP tanks, and ready to be picked up today. Oh, I am obsessed. We got another one coming up. We, we do. So, this is it for the J Feather Micro 166 FPS. But hang on, Ultimate RV Expo is coming back with another one great for boondocking. That's an American buffalo. This is my first time ever seeing a buffalo. Traveling by RV in America gives me so much pride. My name is Philip, aka Phil Walkie, aka feel the culture, and I love to travel. I love to experience different cultures all around the world. Even though I've been to so many countries, I've never really explored America. America, America. This is actually my first time ever RVing. What's up? Come on in and check out my RV. A lot of time is spent at this table looking at maps. Mission at hand is to RV through South Dakota, visit Black Hills, see Crazy Horse, Mount Rushmore. I'm RVing through South Dakota to see new places, meet new people, and feel the culture. Traditional cowboy dish, Rocky Mountain oysters. How does it prepare? So the, they're bull balls. Bull balls. <laughs> bull balls. I'm all for the culture. All right. A little dip, here we go. Not bad at all, you know? <laughs> Riding in an RV, sometimes you, you see some spontaneous places like Waldrop. After a long drive, you gotta nourish yourself with donuts. The sights, the smells, the sounds, the foods, the people, it gets me going. So when you're going on an adventure, you gotta make sure you're prepared. One day we had snow, one day we had sunshine, and I was just fine because I had the RV. I am in the Black Hills National Forest. It is a sight to see. I mean, when we get to the top of the mountain, I'ma say it on the side of a mountain top. I'ma say it on the side of a mountain top. I'ma say it on the side of a mountain top. I'ma say it on the, help me sing. So right now we're at the most iconic spot, Mount Rushmore. We got Washington, Theodore, Abraham, and TJ. My mission in travel is to change people's perspective on, on men of color. Wisconsin. I use positivity as a tool to get people to open up got it. and be open about me coming to them. 
the term Sioux actually comes from the French fur traders, but we prefer to call ourselves Lakota, Dakota, Nakota. In our language, we say Paha Sapa, or the Black Hills, and this is where the creation story of our people come from. And that man right there, how do you say his name? It's Crazy so, Horse, what I know. Yeah. How do you say his name? So in our language, we say Tashunke Witko. Tashunke Witko. This monument is just as important as Mount Rushmore, and I didn't know their history was so much American history, and just to hear it made me just think like how important it is. So I felt him, I felt where he was coming from when he was speaking his words and telling his story. Respect, crazy horse. Traveling by RV is definitely something I would do again. And when I do have a family, I'm, I'm gonna gas it up and we're gonna hit the open roads and we're gonna travel again. It's all about those RV travel trailers ready for boondocking. Chris Young, Tiffany Remington, Ultimate RV Expo. Now, Tiff, the J Feather Micro, super sweet, right? Yeah. What I forgot to mention mm -hmm. was that it had a slide out. I was wondering, I'm yeah. like, why? Wow, this is really big. And it then roomy. it was super roomy. The slide out. Yeah. When after we, oh. just after we walked out, I was like, oh, I saw that. There are so many things with those micros from the enclosed underbelly, the kick plate, the yep. grill that comes on there, the ladder on the back, the spare tip. Look, it, Jayco makes it's a solid loaded. travel trail. It is fully loaded. Yeah. Now, this was a little bit of an upgraded mm -hmm. version. For those folks that are looking for maybe a first one and yeah. entry level, yeah. I want to show you this next one that we have. This is the Baja edition, Jayco 174 BHW. What do you Baja. think we're going to see in this one? I didn't take a look yet because I wanted to give a first, you know, yeah, I want to get a first, your first impression, a first impression on this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. a first reaction because yeah. I did, I mean, we, we obviously just walked through that, but I also took a peek before, so I wanted to have a fresh <laughs> eye. I didn't want to have any biases going into this one, yeah. but I'm really excited. I, I like this because with the Baja Edition, it's a regular J flight, but it's upgraded. So you get things like the flipped axle, the heated and enclosed underbelly, that's and on an aluminum and sided RV, yeah, you don't get that. But for boondocking, that's what you need. Look I love it. Does okay. this wheel well seem a little bit higher than... That's, that's the flipped axle. So what they do is they take the axle and they oh. flip it and it gives you more ground clearance, oh. a little bit more stability. Oh, see, I love that. What a lot of people don't really realize, you know, when you're driving on the road and you're, especially you're towing, mm -hmm. the extra clearance underneath is huge because yeah. You got potholes, you got things flying around, yep. and it, you said it was enclosed. Yep, it's as heated well. and enclosed. Heated and enclosed, which Both is also a huge upgrade and a plus as well, because especially for boondocking and a little bit colder temperatures, yep. you need it. it keeps that heat and your pipes and everything underneath warm. And the, you, if you ever had a busted gray tank or a busted black tank frozen, that's the day you don't want to have. All right, let's go inside this one. We've had many of those days, I hate to admit, but know, those were right? our rookie <laughs> days. We are so much better, I promise. And oh. wow. Slideless. Okay, slideless. And look, right oh, up front, we got the bed going east to west. Does this, is, Queen this, size. is this bigger than the, the Feather Micro? No, the, believe it or not, they're the same size. It's just the entertainment center that came out in front of the bed in the Micro oh. just made it look like it was smaller. Now, you, this one, you're going to have a few less things that you had in the micro. For yep. example, like we, we have the side opening doors with, they don't have the frosted glass. Okay. They're not strut supported doors. But the, the weight on this one, uh, we are looking at 3750. It's 21 feet, six inches. This one will sleep five. It's a bunkhouse. Yeah, I, well, I noticed, and, and we'll do a spin a in a minute, Kev, mm -hmm. the, the bunks, which I appreciate because you can sleep a little bit more than um the feather micro but yeah. you know the little upgrades that uh, you were talking about like the the frosted the glass, frosted glass yeah, and stuff all like stuff, that for me personally it's not that huge of like a difference because right. again we're looking we're trying to be more practical mm -hmm. it's different every family is different it's an aesthetic for, yeah it's an aesthetic yeah. for us we're like we just need to we like to have sleeping bodies right. <laughs> to, to me space, so it's it's one of those things where if, if somebody wants to upgrade they want that upgraded experience yeah. You, you go with that more of the mid-tier or the mm -hmm. luxury style RV. Uh, this segment's all about boondocking. So you're going off the grid. You want to go spend some time on some BLM land. Maybe you want to go fish some streams in yeah. Colorado. Maybe you want to go see why Green Bay is known as the toilet paper capital of the world. And you don't have a place that's going to have a hotel or even connections because it is Green Bay. Bless their hearts. I am so happy you lost in the playoffs. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers retire, but you know, you're not going to have those options. So you need to have the options inside. It's really the insides of the RVs that make the difference between the low level, the mid tier, the high tier, whatever, entry level, whatever you want to call it. 
I mean, you were talking Wisconsin cheese and all that stuff. Yeah. You just flew by past Illinois with all of our beautiful corn. This is where I was oh, born and raised, yes. baby. You know. And you know what else is in in Illinois? What's in Illinois? Chicago. I, I mean, have you done any? What's the bears. The bears. The bears. The bears. The bears. The bears. I didn't know you were a but Bears fan. But, but look, you notice there's no money in there. It's just receipts. That's because I spent all my money on my upgraded boondocking travel trailer. Oh, <laughs> uh, gosh. Yeah, no, but the boondocking experience is just absolutely phenomenal, especially yeah. with having like a smaller rig that is, it, for me, it seems a little bit more manageable and it's easier to kind of get in and out mm -hmm. of places. And also, I feel like it gives you a little bit more free range of like taking it into more remote places you don't yes. have to really worry about like oh is there too much like hill or am i going to get mm -hmm. stuck and all of that stuff and i think that you know when you have i feel like the smaller the better the smaller the better and this one you 21 know? feet 8 inches so it's a little bit bigger than that micro we looked at oh, but okay you got the campsite kitchen over here with the press surface countertop Beautiful. the two burner cooktop i was just gonna say yep. i've never seen a two burner right? cooktop. i normally see it in like van life and all that stuff mm -hmm. so it's like you know a little bit this is really cool and neat yeah and then okay. also, let's see, right here, I love the, the, microwave. the microwave. Yep. We and got, and the thing I like too, you still get great things like upgraded cabinetry, hardwood with those It still has a distress look, yep, right? It's got the distress, that rustic look. Yep. But a lot of times when you get RVs like this, because mm -hmm. this is a five sleeper, it's a very popular floor plan. It came around a couple of years ago. You get it slideless. You get a smaller dinette, which will sleep one person. This reduces down. I was going to say, you got the twin over twin down. bunks, oh, but does. usually you get like a 8,000 watt wow. uh, uh, air conditioner yeah. put in the wall. This one's got the 13.5 roof mounted. This is really so big. nice That's really upgrade. Beautiful. Add that to the fact that we do have the heated and enclosed underbelly. Yeah. Plus we got you know those it, those tires that are big. A, a bigger LP tank. This one's got a 30-pound LP tank. It's got a 30-gallon fresh tank on it. This is a really big fridge and freezer yep. space as well, too. I'd That's love. another 8 cubic foot. Yeah, gas electric for boondocking, which is great. You know what's a little bit trickier in, in these spaces, especially because there is the bunk. I feel like, like it does take a little bit of the... Um, what is it called? The storage space. But there is some storage down here because I'm like, oh, okay, where are we going to put some of our goods? Right. The pantry space. I think you're you're missing out a little bit on that. Yeah. Well, um, it's, which, it's smaller. It's slightly. It is smaller. Yeah. But again, you get really crafty on where you put things. I, yeah. The twin over twin bucks with wow. those three inch thick mattresses. This and once goes again, since far it's Jayco, you're going to get a little more, you know, a little more weight on those. I love it. And they have like little peekaboo windows. Does it have a window up there on top? It has yeah, one sure down do. here. Yeah, we got the window up there. This feels very roomy. I and like that there's like your own little compound that you have in there as well. And I tell you, once you show them the bathroom, since I'm over here behind Kev, I don't want to crush the space. <laughs> so this is the oh! 174 BW Baja. Wait, you 21 feet, eight inches, roughly 3,200 pounds dry. Wait. Now, what's the shower look like? Um, there's a tub. Oh, you got the tub surround? I'm like literally going to hot tub in this little thing. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, when you're, when you've gone on a long day of hiking and boondocking and all that stuff, where if you're like me, you're around the grill 24 seven, you smell like food, you want a shower, but you also want some tubby time and this is fantastic and look how okay i'm five four i feel like i'm pulling an e and now always say i'm five four i'm not six foot yet are you what but this is <laughs> i am five four uh, i swear okay, on a good okay. day right. but i fit really Maybe well in here pump jensen's i love i love it doesn't have a sink in here though right no no so, I'm like looking around, I'm like, no. so, so yeah, so you got the bowl, your sink is out here. So got once it. again, that entry level, yes. boondocking. But if you're going off the grid, you got everything you need. You yep. got a roof, which is a Magnum Trust roof. You got the heated and enclosed underbelly. You got the higher ground clearance, the rugged four by four tires, which we're going to show uh, right out here. Plus, you notice over here, we got the solar charge the controller. We are set up for solar. Okay. One of those things that you're seeing manufacturers go to, if they don't already put the panels in, you're going to get the, the pre-wire and sometimes the charge controller, which lets you know if you do have the panels out there, if you're charging your battery, what state it's in, and all of that. So, I mean, you know, just wow. everything you need, easy to clean, slip resistant, vinyl flooring. So is this, is this features. the same vinyl flooring as the, uh, the... The micro had a little bit of an upgraded floor. Got it. Yeah, but it's so still vinyl. It's still vinyl. Which is waterproof, which is awesome. Again, if you're tracking from outside, inside, very easy to clean up. Yeah. Spills, pets, kids, dogs, <laughs> Chris's, <laughs> husbands. husbands. <laughs> do the boots come with the... The boots! The, the boots do not come with the j -Fo. But I tell you what, oh. you come by your local camping world... <laughs> 
and you say, hey, I'm thinking about going ahead and picking up a unit this weekend because I heard all new 2022 travel trailers get an additional $2,500 off. What if we just skip that and get Chris's boots? I'll make you a deal. <laughs> Wait, speaking deal. of deals, there's also that $1,000 deal. Tell me about that a little bit. You know, if you come in, we can beat them. That thousand dollar deal yeah so we're not going to let any competition beat us and right now during show season you got so many manufacturers or so many dealerships out there mm -hmm. doing these trade shows and and what they're doing is they're bringing in units a that are probably used b borrow from the manufacturers for their prototypes but yep. when you leave you don't get to leave with your rv you yep. leave with an order form yeah and so you might get this right here this 174 that okay yeah this is great it's 21 feet it comes back it's like wait a minute this is in the baja edition i thought i ordered the baja edition i'm supposed to have the heated and enclosed underbelly i'm supposed to have the 30 gallon fresh tank the 30 pound lp tank why does mine have 20 no inverted axle what, what what's going on yeah. well we couldn't get that one so we gave you this one yeah at camping world you don't get that yep you get the unit that you see because we have it on the lot and it's ready for you to pick up today. That's the best part about it. Over 45,000 in stock right now. And if you're looking for something 45, with external speakers, large awning with the LED light strip, fold up steps, grab handle, the Goodyear tires, the rugged off-road tires. I love that we both yeah. knocked that in. And you hear that? <laughs> yeah, it's you got great. The steel well. Yeah, you got the steel well on these as well. I mean, there's 55 locations just in the Northwest, which is yeah. mind-blowing. 185 Camping World locations nationwide. I mean, you got to come in, touch, feel, look, sit, imagine yourself. Is this your rig that you want? If you have any questions, you can also call 866-853. 3510, we have specialists waiting for you to answer any of your questions. I am pretty sold actually on these two. You need some storage? Yeah, can I fit in there? We got, no, I, don't, I wouldn't try it, but I mean, you could. I'm gonna try it after. You know but me, the, I like to sit in little spaces, but this is actually big, this is it's it. not even little. This 174BH is great because it's got the setup for the side vision, it's got ah, the J Smart the lights on it, you can't beat it. So the 174BHW ready for you to pick up today. Come in and get it, it's only 21 feet roughly six inches, 21.8, 3,700 pounds, can sleep five, and is yours if you come get it at Camping World. Let's go.